Welcome to Talk to Brazil with Tom Riach, the business connector to business in Brazil. Talk to Brazil, a dating business podcast, talks with business experts throughout the world. I'm Tom Riach, an American known as the king of networking, connecting people from my studio in Brazil. My friend and business networking partner, Kudanya AJ, joins us again for chat number nine from New Delhi, India. AJ hosts the global podcast show, the KAJ Masterclass Live, helping people learn better, earn better. Today's chat number nine with AJ, where we always talk about uh, where we always talk about business opportunities, and now we're going to talk about the upcoming exhibition and conference, India Soft 2024. 24th edition in January 17 to 19 in India. Welcome once again to this very special series on India and Brazil on the KJ Masterclass Live every fortnight along with my esteemed friend and podcast host Tom Riach. You can see him on the screen. He is smiling. We explore together our nation's journeys in business, culture and politics as well as podcasting as we strive to find our rightful place in the global arena. And uh, Tom is joining us live from Campinas, Brazil. He has spent his whole life there. He's an American known in Brazil as king of multicultural communication and networking with a wealth experience in market development and product management across diverse businesses. Tom is the founder and host of three business podcasts. He is a public speaker and also an author. His deep expertise and extensive network provides invaluable insights into Brazil's dynamic landscape. Welcome to the show once again, Tom. AJ, thanks again for having me. It's always great to be chatting, talking about business opportunities between Brazil and India. Absolutely, absolutely. And today Mm -hmm. we'll be talking about India Soft 2024 Business Beyond Mm -hmm. Boundaries. And that is going to be held in New Delhi, India at Pragati Medan, 17 to 19 January in next year. So, want to understand from you, Tom, uh, what is it that you see for Brazil in that event? And then we'll come down to India. This is a big event. A lot of, you know, interest is there. So, a lot of people will benefit from that event, India Soft event. For the general public, you know, we'll be putting out the links for joining from the Indian side as well as Brazil side from the Indian side. This is the event link. So tell us a bit about the interest that it has generated in Brazil. What do you think Brazil can make from this event? Well, AJ, we've talked about this before of what and how Brazilians perceive India and opportunities for business in India. So it's been part of our other chats. But definitely the technology industry has been a highlight. So when we talk to general Brazilians, Brazilian business people, and even myself uh, for years, uh, technology has been a focus coming from India. So the competencies, the, the areas of development have always been strong. Uh, we've mentioned others. We talked recently about uh, automobile building, pharmaceuticals, other things. But the technology, and, and this India Soft, <clears throat> it's its 24th edition. So this has been going on, and looking specifically at the focus sectors which will be covered at this exhibition, uh, they all run across what's happening today in Brazil. So we're, we're looking here, and I want to show it's artificial intelligence, it's robotics, smart manufacture, big data and a, uh, analytics, fintech. Fintech in Brazil and in, in India, you pay. Everything is being paid right here. You know, we become cashless societies. So blockchain, health uh, is a growing uh, need here in Brazil, not only from the health standpoint, but uh, how do you grow the technology side of that? So everything, again, is being connected to that. So we into the, the focal point. Cloud computing, cybersecurity. I recently interviewed a person on one of my podcasts, and she prepares persons to be members of boards, all right? And one of the things she mentioned when I said, what are the skill sets for persons wanting to be on a board today? She said, a skill set for a board member today has to pass through cybersecurity. 
And I found that sort of a surprise. But then when you think about it, <clears throat> ransomware and everything else in the world has becoming an, an everyday event. So from a corporation, from a company standpoint, you really need to have an understanding of cybersecurity. Agritech, we've talked about agriculture, which in Brazil is growing. That's one of our highest collaborators of our national gross national product is the agriculture industry. So it's across the board. Solar energy. You talk software right. development, web mobiles. That's, that's the rice and beans of every day here in Brazil. All right? But there's always something new coming. IoT, edutech. All right? Education is now uh, being driven towards technology at all levels here. We're talking about primary, college, whatever. Uh, security electronics, drones. <laughs> drones are everywhere. Right. Almost everybody has one. You can buy one and you can use them. Uh, and so this type of technology, uh, this covers all segments of Brazil economy. So from a Brazilian standpoint, the interest from Brazilian companies to go to India to take a look at the India soft and see what's available is very strong. And a driver to that, here in Brazil, we have the India-Brazil Chamber of Commerce, all right, the well-established, uh, highly connected in India, and they're leading a trade mission. So the India-Brazil Chamber Org will be taking... Uh, participants from Brazil, and as we've mentioned in other chats of ourselves, most Brazilians don't speak English. Uh, so the advantage of being in a trade mission sponsored and uh, coordinated by the chamber is actually to create a group, to have persons who have, Brazilians who will, who have a lot of insight into India, uh, into the, the tech industry, to be part of this trade mission to do the footwork before going, all right, to prepare the Brazilian business persons of how to better take advantage of a trade show. Uh, obviously, be there in presence to set up meetings with Indian companies and persons. And then after the show, to help with the follow-up, really to help generate or to transform leads into business. So that's happening. So from a Brazilian standpoint, my recommendation to our Brazilian listeners is to look at this very carefully. <clears throat> and it's the, it's the best way to go. Because even for me, if I were to go to India by myself as a business person, I'm not going to say it's difficult. Because I would call AJ, AJ, I'm coming, all right? And I'm sure AJ would help me. But to be part of a, in a structure of a mission, it's more profitable, it's more practical, and it's more objective. You'll come away because all exhibitions are large, lots of people, thousands of visitors. So to help focus and, and come away objectively with results, that's the importance. So I can't over-highly state that of, of how Brazilians should be able to, and I'm, I'm talking about Brazil, <coughs> anybody in the world, uh, and I've seen there are over 700 foreign missions that go to IndiaSoft. So literally the world is looking at this event and will be going to the event. So the need to go with someone helping in the organization, I think, is a no-brainer. Right. Right. Uh, right, Tom. In fact, more than a 1,000 uh, information technology and technology companies are converging there and connecting with each other. And this, is, this becomes a big platform for you know, a large number of international delegates. It's an opportunity for business alliances to uh, get first-hand information about latest innovations. And, you know, this is this is a good opportunity for a lot. As you said, initially we had shown about this link, uh, about this event link. And for people who, are, who want to register from Brazil, uh, they can do this through this, this particular link through the indiabrazilchamber.org. And this is this is what I, I think that can be helpful. Rest, I guess, they can also directly go there. But I guess this has much more uh, some some things in in the in, in the Portuguese language that will help them, you know, understand it better and and get information the way they want. And I just want to mention, together with that link, they will find the page. Obviously, most of the information is in Portuguese. But they will also see two of the persons from the, the local chamber. One is Pedro Gadelha, and the other is Guilherme Mota. Uh, Guilherme Mota has years of experience 
uh, in with business in India. All right, so they, they both do have international experience, and they're members of the chamber. Uh, so both these persons, Pedro Gadelha and Guillermo Mota, uh, will help lead this trade mission. And obviously the structure from the chamber, not only here in Brazil, but more importantly, the structure, the infrastructure they have in India uh, will be hosting, all right, and uh, helping in the local logistics, the planning, some of the transportation, some of the participation in the events that circulate around uh, the major events. So it's, I would say it's the way to go. Absolutely, absolutely. And for people's, uh, people who would want that link directly, a click, clickable link, then we'll certainly put it out in the show, to, uh, show notes as well as YouTube description uh, in some time so that they can, they, that will be helpful for them to directly get to these websites. Now, this is a big event. This is a big event happening next year from 17th to 19th January. And this also gives an opportunity. See, uh, information technology, everybody knows about artificial intelligence. All these things, technology, information technology is, is growing at a very fast rate. In India also, as we, uh, people know already, India has a good, uh, good, re good resources and good uh, uh, level of understanding about information technology. A lot of Indians are outside, uh, you know, adding value to a lot of global firms. In India also, this is growing at a very fast rate. And, and to help people understand India's uh, information technology, including the uh, business process management sector, it's as much as $245 billion at the moment. And that constitutes around, you know, uh, around 7.4% 7, 7 of the GDP as per the latest figures. And later on, it is going to be, you know, it is, it is going to rise to a much, much higher level as the, uh, because India is also growing at a very fast rate. In, in fact, you know, it is, it, uh, it is predicted that India will be 5 trillion economy by 25, 26, and 7 trillion economy by 2030. So that's, that's what the website also says. So these are all great opportunity. And it will become the third largest, you know, uh, economy in, in, by 2030. So you can understand uh, how econo India is growing and what role uh, almost 10% of India's GDP and will be part of the, you know, growth of India's story, Indian uh, story will, uh, IT and BP and business process management will be a part of this. And in this new year, when we'll be talking about this, uh, you know, India soft 2024, then I think all these things will be at the back of the mind. So it's like a, a first early mover advantage. You get into this and be a part of that big story that India is moving towards by 2030. This is what I say. And a lot of, you know, and that is where a lot of interest should be there in India. As I said, more than a thousand companies, both from information technology and technology sectors. This event has been in, uh, sponsored by government industry and also, you know, co-hosted by the Software Technology Park of India. And there are hosts of other information, so much of information. Right. I, I guess a lot of, you know, the audience who is interested will need to go and look at, you know, sift that to the website and, find all that information for themselves. Now, one of the things I've always been attracted to uh, conferences and exhibitions, obviously we talked about the multiple focuses of the business sectors, but what I've always taken away from my visits and participations in events are to focus uh, on the tendencies. Because obviously many times we will see what is happening, what has happened, what, what's happening right now. But tendencies and startups, smaller companies who are coming with a new idea within everything we just talked about, uh, that sometimes is, is the seed for business opportunity. Because many times as a small business person, I'm including myself, we may think we're too small to be a part of something. But I've always found that there is no such word as small. Uh, if you go by yourself, and what I've always done is, is to look, the curiosity of seeing, of looking, of touching, of meeting people, and seeing what their new ideas are. And many times you see that and you will hear that at an international exhibition like the India Soft. 
will be people, established companies saying what they're working on innovation. I'm sure you'll find smaller companies with somebody has a bright idea, uh, young or old Indians who have brilliant ideas. And so those are, those are the tendencies. And so those are the opportunities that I see of being small, starting small, and becoming large and becoming big. Absolutely, Tom. And you see uh, the type of focus sectors that this or a conference uh, and event has uh, can be of importance to uh, a small player in this uh, in any of these sectors or even the larger players. Artificial intelligence, we are now uh, learning towards being birthed you know, people are getting attuned to that. And you see all these sectors, blockchain, from that to agri-tech to solar energy, people are talking about from animation, movies, you know, gaming, AR, uh, you know, AR, VR, virtual reality, augmented reality, web and mobile apps. So there is nothing which is not there for the practical way of life that we are living. So everything is there. And so even an individual who is who, who has something to do with anything related right. to information technology mm -hmm. and technology or any of these sectors would mm -hmm. want to make the full benefit of you know uh, of, of all the of events like this right. wherever it is now this is a big opportunity a lot of people from Brazil even mm -hmm. the you know the chamber has given that link so from there they can connect with these people and mm -hmm. their own language but across the world also people are finding such events you know very uh, very important and especially you know after covid much more world is opening up people want to visit these places and mm -hmm. it will be in india it will be at a centrally located place you know the pragati maidan which has just recently held the uh, held the india international trade fair so it's something very closely located centrally right. located and where anyone can you know can just you know find it easy to reach and online also it's there so people can connect how much they can benefit they can connect with businesses across that world. Oh, and, and we've mentioned this in our previous chats, and I just want to bring that up, uh, of again, being part of a mission of going. <clears throat> and we know, you know that you're an Indian, how Indians are receptive, all right? Uh, Indians are receptive to foreigners, and there'll be many companies going, many persons going. From a Brazilian standpoint, and we've talked about this on our chats, the how do we Indians do business and how do Brazilians do business? So just culturally being there and having that understanding is the first step in, of developing new business relationships, of being in India, seeing how Indians do business among themselves and others. That's a learning experience by itself. And that should not be overlooked. The power of just being there, obviously with a group that can help you uh, and guide you, uh, I think that's the best takeaway anybody could ever have going to an international exhibition, from again, from the Brazilian standpoint. Absolutely. And you see, this is the, after <clears throat> a long time now, a lot of companies will look at India as an alternative to China because, you know, with the world situation, people looking mm -hmm. at China <clears throat> in, a, in their own manner. And because India has got this, uh, got this strength, also in terms of you've got competitive research, and development, labor cost, you know. Right. So uh, you have got all of these things in one place. So a lot of companies mm -hmm. can benefit from their, uh, from from this place. As a lot of people, even in website, you see, they get their website, web designers from yeah. India because you've got that technical uh, knowledge here. A lot of people are into this sector. I think it's an opportunity. I really think uh, from the standpoint, it shouldn't be overlooked. And it's timely. Right. January is, from a business sense, it's the start of a business year almost throughout the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, Tom, we will bring in, when this event happens, we'll certainly try and bring as much as possible for the audience what exactly, you know, we could gather with all this three-day event and bring, bring that to, to our audience for this particular, you know, particular show, uh, you know. Uh, India Business Chat with Tom and Ajay. So we'll try and bring that. So Tom, if you have any final closing points, uh, please add that, and then we'll go, go for it. Up. Well, I just want to say that we have a whole shopping list of opportunities to talk about. So our chats in 2024 uh, will certainly highlight uh, several of these areas that we've mentioned. And we'll take, uh, let's say, successful and even non-successful 
uh, segments from persons who had visited, and we can talk about that in the future. Absolutely, absolutely. Tom and me will continue to add value as and when. Uh, you know, this not only this event, as a like the events like this keep on <clears throat> coming. With this, it's a wrap on this very special edition of the KJ Masterclass Live, where India Business Chat, India Brazil Business Chat with Tom and Ajay. Thank you so much once again. So here's our chat number nine, which is also live on KAJ Masterclass. You can find more about Kudanya AJ on LinkedIn and youtube.com KAJ Masterclass. Thanks to our listeners and sponsor, Focus MI Market Intelligence, specialist in the market research for the Brazilian agricultural market. More about them on their site, focusmi.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Goodbye, and thanks for listening.